Hello, I'm Anna Napoli for the Finance News Network and joining me now from Prescient Therapeutics is CEO and MD, Stephen Yatomi Clark. Stephen, welcome to FNN. Thank you very much for having me. First up, can we start with an introduction to Prescient Therapeutics? Prescient Therapeutics is a drug development company developing targeted therapies for cancer. We're listed on the ASX and we have um, two assets that are in several clinical trials right now. And Stephen, before we talk about your portfolio, can we talk about the science behind your approach? So cancer cells have various mechanisms available to them that they use to um, continue to grow in an uncontrolled manner and to evade other types of uh, the immune system and other types of therapy. And those problematic switches are the switches that we address with our targeted therapies. We look to switch off those problematic switches bring the cells under control and kill them in a very targeted manner. Turning to your development pipeline now, can you tell us more, starting with PTX200? PTX200 is our lead molecule right now, and that is currently in three clinical trials. It's in breast cancer, uh, ovarian cancer, and a blood cancer called acute myeloid leukaemia. So we've got three shots on goal. Uh, and that switches off a problematic pathway called AKT, which is present in a number of different, different cancers. And how about PTX100? PTX100 switches off another problematic pathway that uh, is uh, it's quite separate. It's called RAS. The RAS pathway has been you know, one of the holy grails of cancer pathways to be, uh, to be targeted hitherto unsuccessfully. Uh, and we've got a very unique method of targeting RAS. Um, all the previous attempts at inhibiting RAS itself have been unsuccessful due to it being quite a slippery type of molecule with no obvious binding sites. We inhibit downstream of RAS, so we take the view that if you can't inhibit the parent, inhibit its children. And that's the approach that we take with PTX100. And in terms of collaboration, can you give us a sense of what's happening for Prescient Therapeutics there? Absolutely. You, you can judge a company by the company it keeps. And we're delighted to say that not only do both of our uh, molecules come from prestigious universities, but we've got some of the best minds in, in their respective fields working on it. PTX100 is licensed from Yale University, uh, PTX200, the owner of the IP is University of South Florida and Moffitt Cancer Centre, which is the third biggest cancer centre in the United States. And we've got some fantastic investigators working on our studies who we're not allowed to pay to be on our studies. They are, they are genuine thought leaders who believe in our drug and that's why they're, they're working with it. And uh, on the breast cancer study, that includes uh, Professor Joe Sperano, a, a famed international authority in breast cancer. In AML, it's Jeff Lancet uh, and many others as well. So what exactly is unique about your approach with PTX100? So we're taking a basket trial design with PTX100, which is a new way of thinking about studies. And even to this day, a lot of companies are looking at phase one, phase two, phase three studies, and they're focused on cancers in particular parts of the body. Now, basket trial sort of turns that idea on its head by saying we don't care where about in the body the cancer resides. So long as it has a particular mutation, you will go on to the study. So that's why it's called a basket study where um, tumours from all over the body, so long as they have the same genetic profile, they will, people will be on to that same study. And that enables a, a much shorter development time frame if you enrich that population. Um, and it's the, we're, I think, the only ASX company taking that approach. In terms of funding your portfolio, can you give us a sense of where you are with that and also strategy going forward? So we've just completed a capital raising uh, a little while ago, raised over $9 million from um, some institutional investors with particular expertise in life sciences including some, um, some New York funds with life science expertise. So that sees us well funded through to at least the end of next year and uh, will see us through to all the catalysts um, for PTX200 and PTX100. Last question, Stephen. Why is now a good time for investors to be looking at Prescient Therapeutics? Sure thing. Well, we've got catalysts across our whole portfolio due over the next 18 months, all in a staggered manner, and we've got the cash to deliver on those catalysts. So to deliver those catalysts, we've got a reputable share register backed by people who really know their, uh, know their science, and we've got an experienced team to uh, give our drugs the best, uh, best chance of success. Stephen, you're Tommy Clark. Thank you so much for the update. Thank you very much for having me.